All right, I'm going to show you guys how to record using the Elmo in case you want to kind of show um, math-based types of problems and um, so then you can like have kids watch it over again if they need that kind of extra reinforcement. Um, so you're going to go to the start menu and you're going to search for a file called ImageMate. Um, what you want to be mindful of is that there was an older version that wasn't working very well. Um, it didn't really let you open up this, um, it didn't let the like recording actually happen. So um, you might need to contact tech and have them give you the newer version of ImageMate. When you open it, you're going to see options to record, which is this camera button, and then the view from your Elmo. Um, so when you press the, re the camera button, if you press record, it's not going to record right then. It's going to have you save your like have a file open up. So I think from experience, it's good to just kind of leave that number file there and then rename it. Um, also for saving it, it's best to do it on the J drive. So like, for example, I have a folder under the um, chemistry shared area here in ChemG. Okay. So when you press save, it's actually going to start recording. Um, the best way to do this is you want a nice view of your computer screen so you can kind of see what the recording is looking like um, under the Elmo. So you might need to tilt your computer screen um, to get a good view of it. Okay, so when you press save, it'll start recording. You can write what you need to do. Um, so like this is a test. That is cool. Okay, so... It has your recording there. So when you press stop, it'll have your file, you'll stop your, it'll stop recording. So then you can um, find your file to kind of double check um, if it looks good. So teachers, shared. And here it is. Okay. So If you click it and open up, oh, there we go. Okay. So from here, what you would need to do is if you don't have one already, you would make a YouTube video or a YouTube channel, um, which is not terribly hard to make. Um, and then you can upload this file onto YouTube and then you can post those videos onto like, for example, Google Classroom. Um, so it's been a nice handy tool for us to have for, for example, our resource kids if they need to watch it again or watch it again in resource. So if you guys have any other questions, let me know.